हेलो गुड इवनिंग हैदर हेलो ओके सो दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज दैट व्हाट इज द डाउट व्हिच यू आर कमिंग व्हिच इज व्हिच इज व्हिच इज कमिंग which of the following correctly represents sodium oxide so you want the answer or should i go behind the concept that means uh, did you try to solve this question on your own okay okay you want the concept also so no issues okay see it is asking this is a lewis based structure okay lewis structure this is a lewis structure okay <clears throat> so it is asking the representation of sodium oxide what is sodium oxide basically sodium oxide can you suggest me the formula for that do you know what is sodium oxide sodium oxide is basically na2o okay ha ah, na2o okay <clears throat> so na2o basically we can we can see there are two atoms of sodium two sodium atoms and one oxygen atom so in the formula in the lewis base uh, lewis uh, lewis structure we should have two atoms of sodium and one atom of oxygen present okay so from that we can eliminate the react uh, formula uh, sorry the structure which is not applicable so basically if you go for the first uh, option first option it is showing that there are two oxygen atoms isn't it two oxygen atoms are shown here see two is written in front of oxygen so this is uh, not correct so this is a wrong option two sodium it is shown here only okay this might be considerable okay we we have to consider this option in c option it is it is it is also telling two sodium and two oxygen is given so two oxygen is not applicable so this option is also incorrect are you getting what i am telling and in last option last option also it is showing one sodium one sodium is also not applicable along with one oxygen so this is also incorrect so directly by seeing the number of atoms we can distinguish that what is the correct option b is the correct option even though if you want to go by charge and actual concept behind that we should know that two sodium atom what is the charge of sodium it is 1 plus that means totally the structure should be neutral isn't it because there is no charge on the compound it should be neutral to be for any structure to become neutral number of positive charge should be equal to number of negative charge so in option b you can say two sodium that means two positive charge is there okay you have one more question you can send that okay you send it here only till then i will make sure that this should complete okay two positive charge and what is the charge of oxygen oxygen is negatively charged that means if one oxygen is there two negative charge that means it will compensate that means according to charge balance also you can say that b is the correct option okay did you understand you can send the next question <clears throat> next question is telling an element m has 50% of the electrons filled in the third shell as in the second shell the atomic number of m is okay so did you try to solve this question on your own have you tried this question sir i got 14 okay you got 14 that means the concept is clear you want the solution okay an element m any element m consider any element to be m okay m has some element m is something element has 50% of electrons filled in the third shell so third shell that means one if it is having third shell 
okay how we will consider this is first this is second this is third cell okay so 50% of the electrons filled in the third cell as in the second cell the atomic number of m is okay so see first cell how many what is the capacity of the first cell it is always 2 not more than 2 okay so two atoms are compulsorily will be present here only this is first this is second this is third okay first second third or you can say yeah. wait wait there is some glitch so come here okay so shall so it is telling that 50 has 50% of the electrons filled in third cell as in the second cell so whatever the number of electrons are there in the second cell so let it be n number of cell electrons so 50% of that are there in third cell also that means 50 by 100 into n are in third cell that means what will be the total number of electrons so we can tell that n is equals to sir but in second cell only eight electrons can be present yes eight electrons can be present we know what is the value of n n should be 8 okay because until and unless second cell is fully uh, packed we will not be jumping into the third cell if third cell is uh, filling then the, then it is sure that is confirmed that is confirming that second cell is fully filled that means eight electrons are definitely here okay so 8 9 10 and 50% of 8 will be 4 Its answer should be 14. What is that doubt? Is it a wrong answer? Is it a wrong answer or what? You well, you also got the 14 answer. 14 will be the answer according to me. Okay. So any doubt? So did you understand how to solve this? Its answer should be fourteen. Okay. Any more doubts? I just panic. No issue. No issue. If if you got the understanding, then there is no issue. You just have to solve, uh, keeping your mind calm. Okay. Otherwise, it is a very easy question. Okay. 